Can you hear that? Oh my goodness, that is so good. I'm telling you, this pork is life changing. So we're gonna start off with our pork belly. Now, when you're buying your pork belly, I like to look for one that has um, a really decent amount of meat, not too fatty. You do need that little bit of layer of fat there and then a nice soft skin on the top. So the first thing you want to do is score the skin of your pork belly. Now if you've got really sharp knives at home that's great, use those. I find that sometimes at home though knives tend to be a little bit dull. Um, so get yourself a Stanley knife um, from a hardware store, they're always super sharp. Um, and I'm just going to make some straight lines across that pork belly skin. I'm using a, a trace as a sort of a little guide so I can get some straight lines. And you just want to score that skin one centimeter intervals. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to get some salt onto our pork skin. So the salt's gonna do two things, it's gonna add some great flavor, um, but it's also going to help draw the moisture out of the skin um, because the more moisture we can draw out of the skin, the crispier it will be in the oven. Just a little bit of salt on the other side. And then you wanna leave this in your refrigerator uncovered um, for at least a couple of hours overnight would be great. Uh, and that's also gonna help draw that moisture out of that pork skin. Okay, so now that the pork's had that time in the fridge, let's take a look. And you can see the top of that pork, there's quite a bit of moisture there that's come out of the skin. Perfect. I'm just gonna wipe that off. So whenever you're looking to get something crispy and crunchy, just remember moisture is your enemy. We wanna make this as dry as possible. Grab a little bit of oil onto the top, and then just a little bit more salt, because I wiped off most of that salt from before. Now this next step might seem a little weird, but trust me, this is the secret technique that's gonna give you that amazing crackling. So I'm gonna flip that pork into the roasting tin so that the skin of the pork is sitting on the bottom of the roasting tin. And then you want some baking paper on top. And then you just want to weight that down with another heavy dish, oven proof, um, and that's going to keep the skin flat on the bottom of the pan and get everything nice and crispy. And that goes into the oven for about an hour. And then uh, take off the pan, take off the baking paper, turn the pork over and give it 10 minutes skin side up. Can you hear that? Oh my goodness, that is so good. I'm telling you, this pork is life changing. Okay, so let's get that sliced up. And now you can see, just by doing those few extra steps, we've got that beautiful, crispy, crispy skin, and the fat underneath there has all rendered out. So we've got no big chunks of fat, just beautiful crunchiness. Oh, 